All right, back for another beer review, and today I'm going to be reviewing yet another beer from the other half brewing company, and they're out of both Brooklyn and Rochester, New York, and this is their a dollar and a dream. So they're calling this an oat cream. India Parallel comes in at 7.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in the time of review. This is just under a month old. So first thing I want to say is full disclosure. I've had this one before. I actually had this a few weeks ago at a bottle share. I only had a few ounces of it and we drank it midway through the share. So that means that my palate was compromised, but let's be honest, my palate is always compromised. And uh, I remember enjoying it. I mean, most other half IPAs are highly enjoyable. Now, it wasn't anything special as far as I recall, but when your palate is somewhat shot, you're probably not going to remember much other than whether you liked it or not, and that's it. So giving this a proper review, I'm pretty excited about it. So I've mentioned this before, but when other half uh, uses the whole oat cream IPA thing, it means they're using a bunch of oats and some lactose. And this one is hopped with Mosaic Citra Idaho 7 and Mosaic Cryo Hop. So that's all I know about it. Let's give it a quick little uh, roll here, and then we'll crack it open and get it into the other half TQ, and we'll go from there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sure Eric Gilbert and Paul will be thrilled about all these other half uh, reviews that I've been doing lately because, you know, they love it. Anyway, pours out this. It's going to come off on camera probably dull, but this is like a vibrant orange-yellow color, uh, about a finger of a bright white head, looking very creamy, murky, turbid, the whole nine, you know, New England-style IPA. Uh, but yeah, that looks really nice. And when I cracked it, I could smell it, you know, it's like a foot away from my nose, and man, it smelled great. Oh, wow. So I would guess if I was doing this blind, there was a lot of galaxy in here because I'm getting a lot of like crushed candied pineapple. Yeah, mm, nice creamy mango. A lot of stone and tropical fruits, not much citrus in this one, all about the tropical and stone fruits. There is a nice herbaceous dankness uh, all throughout the um, aroma. It's like on the edges. A little bit of like a, a grassiness as well. But this has that candied uh, fruit hop aroma that I both enjoy and sometimes not so much. Uh, if it carries over to the taste and that's all you're getting is a full on, you know, sweet blast of hops like candied hops, not a huge fan. But if it has a nice balance to it between those candied hops and like some dankness and maybe some like resinous pine or some bitterness in general, I'm usually all about that. But this one smells like it's going to be more sweet with a little bit of uh, herbaceousness to it. But yeah, pineapple, mango. Maybe like a peach apricot thing going on. Soft melon vibes. Yeah, it smells like a fruit bowl. It smells pretty good. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, creamy pineapple, creamy mango for days. First off, the body, straight up medium, maybe higher side of medium body has a little bit of heft behind there, a little bit of viscosity. Mouthfeel because of those oats and uh, the lactose, very creamy and soft and smooth. I've mentioned this a hundred times before. Okay, I haven't reviewed a hundred other half beers, but I usually say mouth half is other half. And what I mean by that is the mouthfeel. Did I just say mouth? Mouth half is other half? If I did, it's because this guy's awesome. Anyway, the mouthfeel is other half. Um, it just, when they use those oats and that lactose, it just has a very just soft and pillowy vibe to it very creamy in the in the mouthfeel and i kind of almost always know when i'm drinking another half beer because uh, other half beer because of the mouthfeel but yeah a lot of fruit luckily it's not super candied it has like a crushed pineapple a sweeter pineapple but not like to the candied side of things mango peach a little bit of that soft melon throughout the entire palette there is this substantial like herbaceous dankness there and this one actually finishes a bit more bitter than I remember it when I had it at the share, and just more bitter in general when it comes to another half beer. So I'm liking it that it has that balance that I was talking about in the Roma, and I was hoping that would actually pop up in the taste. I didn't want it to be too sweet, and it's not. Uh, the finish is semi-dry, a decent amount of bitterness, and yeah, this is, this is a really nice beer. There's nothing blowing me away, and now if I'm thinking back to the share, that's kind of what I remember this beer being. Really tasty, well balanced, but there's only a couple characters here. Like I said, pineapple, mango, peach, um, soft melon, and that herbaceous dankness character. But they all blend together very nicely and make for a highly enjoyable, almost imperial <laughs> IPA. 
yeah, not much more to say about it. Rating for the dollar and a dream from other half, I'm going to give this a solid 7.5. Uh, 7 I was going to this is the ABV. This is a mess of a review, but that's what you come to expect, Beer, uh, beer Patrol. 4.25 out of 5. Dollar and a dream, other half, 4.25 out of 5. It's a well-made uh, oat cream India Pale Ale, and they always do a good job, in my opinion. I can't really think off the top of my head a bad beer I've had from other half, at least recently over like the last six months to a year. So yeah, they just do really good things. I'm really happy they're now, uh, you know, doing a lot of can releases at their new Rochester, New York brewery there. I don't think they're brewing there yet, but when they do, I can't wait to check it out. So anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by for another beer review and until the next one, cheers.